Hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. There are so many people you need to pray for up there in Canada and also Montana. Yeah, uh, things globally are just getting worse and worse. I thought this was some real good information. It's about how fires once helped the sequoias, the redwoods, reproduce. And now it's killing the groves. Two recent studies find that the sequoia groves burning in megafires in 2020 and 2021 were so severely damaged that the world's tallest trees might not be able to naturally regenerate. The giant sequoia groves in California and Kings Canyon National Park were extensively burned in the megafires of 2020 and 21. They need fires to pop open the uh, pine cones, the seeds, uh, to produce the seedlings but the seedling numbers were so drastically low in some areas they might not naturally regenerate according to two new studies by government scientists hi everyone I'm Mary with Mary Greeley news thank you very much for joining me please like share and subscribe we all know that the weather patterns for the earth is changing um, but decades of human action such as fire exclusion not allowing smaller fires to burn through the forests and clean out the underbrush or leaving the uh, dead trees have predisposed forests in several parts of the world to abnormally large and severe wildfires one of the studies by researchers with the US Geological Survey Western Ecological Research Center and published in the journal Ecosphere in March, tried to assess the likelihood of a natural recovery in forest sequoia groves and found that the seedling density fell far below the average density measured after prescribed fires, meaning fires deliberately set. Those fires were intentionally set to maintain grove regeneration and health. Too little, too late. So they turned out to be mega fires. In the second study published last month in Forest Ecology and Management, the researchers developed seedling reference density based on post-fire data from eight groves that burned in 26 different fires in the national parks from 1969 to 2016 to identify areas that might require planting by forest managers. In one case study, Sequoia Grove burned in one of the recently high severity wildfires. The study found seedlings density were significantly and dramatically lower than historic norms, suggesting inadequate post-fire reproduction. The study found that extreme wildfires had killed up to 20% of the world's mature giant sequoias since 2015 with a majority of the trees dying in three wildfires in 2020 and 2021. The sequoias are the largest trees in the world and among the oldest and only grow on the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada in California, according to the National Park Service. The increasing size of high severity fire patches in turn has caused an increase in the size of the areas that are distant from surviving seed sources, thus contributing along with ongoing climate change to redwood post-fire forest regeneration and the potential of conversion to a non-forest vegetation types. So what's going to end up happening is the redwoods won't be there anymore. Um, you're going to get a new type of probably trees and plant life and along with that uh, a migration of of different animals. We've heard about the migration of the owls recently that they want to go in and remove. They're worried that they won't get the money to go in and replant um, the seed, new seedlings. They're worried that before post density uh, fire shrub growth would happen. 
it would it would um, hamper restoration efforts and potentially diminish probability of reforestry reforestation they also said in the study that despite the exceptional fire resistance of giant sequoia extreme wildfires killed an estimated to 13 and 19 percent of mature sequoias across, across their native range some of the areas of sequoia forests that were burned in the historic unprecedented fires um, burned the cones there was no cones left for the sequoias to grow from. The seed source itself was destroyed. So they now they have to go in and figure out which areas are going to have to be replanted by the Forest Service and get in there before um, other plants take over, you know, and block out the light and the sun. Different types of fast-growing shrubs. Yeah, they're they, they're under a. Um, a real short time period to get this done. The sequoias is a long-lived pioneer species, typically reproducing profusely from small and abundant, primarily wind-dispersed seeds in small fires created um, in forest gaps. But they don't have the small fires anymore. They um, suppress them. And then, yeah, they end up with these huge, gigantic fires. For the small fires, sequoias are well adapted to frequent surface fires, having a thick, fine, resistant bark, um, a height to live crown base that usually exceeds 20 meters. And that would be about 66 feet high. So in the study, it suggests that seedling density measured after past prescribed fires, those would be small fires, which they don't do anymore, should serve as a useful reference for density, at least for the past environmental conditions under which those seedling densities were measured. In the past, prescribed fires burned in 16 separate years spanning at least 48 year period from 1969 to 2016. But that all changed after 2016. They no longer go in and remove the dead trees. They no longer allow the smaller fires. So now we're getting these mega fires. I don't know why they changed their plans, why they decided to uh, um, suppress fires, why they decided not to remove the dead trees. Maybe it was to uh, save money. The same thing um, is happening up in there in Canada. Yeah, no longer do they remove the dead trees. They got the, uh, the beetles that are build, um, killing a lot of the trees up there. And they're not being removed. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Why did they change? Yeah, why did they change that? Why did they uh, decide not to go in and and maintain the forest, take care of the forest like they used to? I don't know. People just seem to be getting stupider, right? I don't know. Put your thoughts down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.